When I first started to do this stuff on the internet, median lines and pitchforks had basically disappeared from the trading world. They didn't exist on any charting platform. Nobody talked about them. There was one guy that sold Andrew's course for $5,000, and it was a bad mimeograph copy. And the only reason I got involved was because I, wa I wanted to put him out of business. So I built a website, and I put the Action Reaction course up there free. And then I advertised it. Oh, was he mad. He still pops up every once in a while, but I stamp him out like a bug. Okay? Because he doesn't own the copyrights, neither do I. I don't sell the course, it's there free. Come and get it. I hope you all come and get it. One thing I, I believe in, you know, is giving people credit where credit is due. Alan Andrews, Roger Epson, and George Marischal invented this stuff. They should get credit for it. The, the last people that should be making money off it are the, are the people, the shysters, that are selling this stuff like it's snake oil, which is, you know, how they sell it. So let's take a look at this trade and see what the pitfalls were and how some traders got turned around. And more important, how some traders avoided the pitfalls and found the diamonds in the rough. And I particularly like this because it's nice when I show you a trade where I made money. But it's really nice where I can show you a trade and say, hey, four of my students made money. Now, they may not have traded it exactly like I traded it, but very similar. And this is, this is a very, very difficult, this is a very, very difficult week. So let's take a look. EuroFX is in a very strong uptrend against the dollar. And we all know that. Up until July, the euro was king, right? All the money in the world flew into the euro. Period. Some money went to Canada. A little bit went to Australia, New Zealand. But really, the money all went to Europe. The problem with it is, if you're not a disciplined trader and you don't have high probability trading techniques and entries, it's not as simple as looking at the screen and saying, this is going up, I think I'll get me some. If you've I'm looking around here, I don't see many 13 and 14 year olds in the audience. Okay, so most of you have been around the block a few times. Okay, I'm 50. I've been, I traded through the Hunt silver deb uh, debacle. I traded through the OPEC uh, oil crisis. I traded through numerous stock market crashes. I've intervened for, I was, I've been the largest intervener for the Fed in several markets over many years. Um, uh, I mean, I can go on and on and on. However, one thing that always happens, China gets hot, what does everybody do? The public. They run out and they buy Chinese stocks. They don't, they don't think about what, you know, well, they're up 40%, where am I going to get out? The only thing they can think about is they've got to get some. It's the same thing with the euro. The euro's in an uptrend. A group of people have to have euros. They don't care how they get them, they just have to have them. It's going up, i got to get it. It's going to go up forever. If I don't get it now, I'll never get it. That's what, the, that's what happens. Look at this chart. Now I'm going to switch from bars to candlestick to show price action in a clearer style. Red is down bar. It means closed on its low. Black means it closed higher on the... Yes, sir? These are 240 minutes. And if you don't know, the reason why hedge fund guys, large currency traders trade off of 240 minute, uh, or at least look at them, is this. Morning session in New York, after, afternoon session in New York, that's two 240 minute bars. Morning session in Tokyo, afternoon session in Tokyo, that's two 240 minute bars. Morning session in London, afternoon session. So it breaks the day up into what happened in the morning, what happened in the afternoon. Then we tend to look at 20-minute charts. When I trade futures, I, I, I tra I'll, I'll look at non-time-based bars. I'll look at eight-tick range bars, and that's a whole different story which, that we can talk about afterwards if you want to ask questions. But when, when we look at time-based things, I tend to look at two, two frequencies, 240-minute and 20-minute. Okay? This is basically, again, that's this. 
zoomed in a little bit and turned into candlesticks, just so you can see which bar is closed up and which bar is closed down. No other reason. Okay? Now let me show you what happens using candlestick bars when the majority of the market gets caught with the same directional position and most are not using adequate stop loss or stop profit orders in their trading. Ow. Can we all see how wide that is? That's almost 300 points. Now, if I, if I put on a 20-minute chart, I don't have one to show you, but if I actually put it in, it's, it looks exactly the same. It's straight down. There's no pullback. Everybody got caught one way. The door was small, and you had to stand in line to get out. You have to use stops. Where should your stop be? Well, in this case... At least here, you got to, I mean, at this point, you have to be gone. You have to be gone. Period. You can always get back in. Okay, you couldn't stomach this one? How about here? I mean, at some point, enough's enough. But you can't stand there and look at the screen and say, well, it'll come back. Because that's when your capital's gone. And I'll tell you, I probably had about 1,500 trader, professional traders work for me over the years at institutions. And probably at least 20 of the best traders I've had, I've had to fire because they froze. And you can't tell who's going to freeze and who's not going to freeze. They just get themselves in a situation where they can't take the loss. And as a manager, you, you have to know at that point, you have to A, intervene, and B, they're damaged goods at that point. They have a character flaw. And it's almost, I, I, don't, I, can't, I, I can't think of one of them. They, I, I, can, I think of a few of them that are still in the trading community, but most of them actually are order takers. They're brokers, if you will. Um, it, it's, it's irreparable at some point. The damage is just not repairable. So you have to use stops, and stops take that away. You no longer have to look at it and say, oh, my God, what am I going to do? It'll come back. You don't have to think about it. You're out of the market now. Now get up, walk away, clear your head. If you can't clear your head, stay away from the market for a while. Then come back later on. You can always trade again. If you don't have stops in, you may blow your whole account. Price made a marginal new high, which you can see up here, for the move, and then simply pumping it. And although some traders were probably working stop profit orders, most traders got caught holding long euro positions against the U.S. dollar that quickly lost quite a bit of value. 